Okay. <laughs> it's a lot to unpack here. I am accustomed to my hair having a firm hold. Um, I do like a cast when I do a wash and go because I know that that's going to help my hair last at least 11 to 14 days, my wash and go. It is going to get bigger and all of that. It is going to stay separated. It's going to stay swingy and everything. I didn't do anything. Okay, I'll take that back. I did one thing different. I did my usual wash and go routine. There's lots of videos of that. My whole wash and go struggles and in my journey. Um, I got a playlist of it. It's out there on the channel. And what I did differently though is I applied. They call it shingling. Back in the day, shingling is what is now known as raking. That was called shingling because you're taking slices of hair and you're just like going through it and you're taking like little sections and just sort of raking your fingers through it but it's the sections that I guess shingle anyway so I did the new raking and which is what I always do and then I also did the twirl thing like a lot of the naturalistas are doing like um happy curl happy girl or happy girl happy curl um, I know that that's what she does and a few others do it. And I was like, well, let me try it because I am in right now a state of deciding on what what's next for my hair, if anything. Um, it feels like a change is coming. I don't know what it is or what I would even be satisfied with. But I was like, well, since I'm playing around, let me do this. It had been a while since I'd done a wash and go. And um, yeah, it's looking mighty flat. I did not do the typical, you know, like like fluffing it out or diffusing totally air dried i let it air dry um can totally see where i cut my hair i trimmed my ends and i forgot that i did it and i think i trimmed them in layers and i think i took a nice piece amount off um so we're gonna see how this thing unfolds <laughs> i just I, i'm like let me pop on here to show them my jerry curl because <laughs> Hmm. Now I was like, well, how am I going to, and I didn't try to even part it any certain way. I just left the part in the middle. And I even took like small pieces, you know, where the hair would separate naturally. And I did the thing and I was like, my finger was getting all caught up in there and stuff. But yeah, so it, um, I trust will start to look fuller and less see-through and all that. Um, I do feel like maybe I, I tore some of my hair out over the last couple of years just from always keeping it, you know, braided or, you know, I don't know. But uh, it or it could be age. It could be age because my hair is changing. And I've seen in my family where their hair texture starts to change a little bit. It gets softer and more cloudy. <laughs> And I noticed like some of my gray hairs, they're like, I'm not curling up. I'm not doing anything for you. I am doing what I want to do. <laughs> it is my time. It's my turn. So anyway, I was like, okay, well, let me show them my top ramen noodles. I am excited about the swing time when this stuff starts to... Um, you know, get bigger. And also the back typically is not, um, you know, how you, how you have the different hair textures and my back, like right in here is typically not as moisturized as the rest of my hair. You could tell when your hair is not as moisturized and you can also tell the porosity based on how the definition is. If the definition disappears, you know that your hair is drier in that area and maybe the products that you use on it either you're not in you're not hitting that area properly you know like your your uh, leave-ins and your hydrating moisturizing ingredients or your porosity might be um low or high you know so that's telling that's very that's information is very telling <laughs> so i might break out um my ebooks and see what products or what ingredients or what I need to mix up to help remedy that. 
and um, also to see what my, you know, do a little bit more study on my own hair to see what porosity it is, just in case, because I know I have had more than one porosity in my hair, and I know that my hair is switched back and forth based on how I was caring for it or not, you know. But yeah, this is me. Hee hee hee. Okay. <laughs>